Hello and welcome to another video. I'm Sam and this one's going to be a little bit different and we're going to talk about hobbies. And I'm Holly. The reason we want to talk to you about hobbies is we think they're really important and even though you might know all this stuff, we think it's a good reminder to get back on that hobby you once did or to start a new one. We'll give some suggestions in this video uh, so you may get inspired to what to start a new hobby um, and we just started a new hobby so you'll see that later in the video but first of all what is a hobby a game an activity a collection Ooh, got him mental skill physical and many more hobbies Pretty much it's anything that gives you a sense of achievement and you go towards a goal, but that goal can still be abstract. With certain hobbies, like our van build, you can see that some have a specific endpoint. When it is finished, it's finished. However, this isn't to say that we couldn't then go on and do another project later on. This is a bit like people who work on cars. Once you've finished one, you just wait for the next one or you wait for something to break, like our friend George. One hobby I've had for quite a while is handstands. And although I've had a few injuries, it's one I go back to and enjoy loads. So a hobby that we've both picked up recently is skating. For me, I am quad skating, which is something I've never done before. So I used to ride quad skates when I was younger, um, and then I went away from that and tried skateboarding, and I've been doing that for a little while. Um, and now, yeah, we are on inline skates, and I've got these ones from Decathlon and these aggressive skates for doing grinds. I guess this is a good point for us to share our Instagram tags, which you will see us doing these sports on. So give us a little follow if you would like, and we will give constant updates on there. With these hobbies like handstands and skating, there is not really an end goal. So it's always about constant growth uh, and just trying to improve. Nothing you do will be perfect. Perfect doesn't exist but existing is perfect enough. I like this quote with regards to these hobbies because you can't reach perfection, but you can get goddamn close. And that's the point is to get as close as you can just by making those little bits of improvements. Who said that quote? It was me. I made it up. All right, enough smoke blown there. Cooking and baking is another continuous hobby that we feel every human being has in common. I'm definitely the better baker, but Sam is the better cook. Some other hobbies we have are YouTube, chess, fitness, and then another one Holly has is dance, which leads me to a question I want to ask her. So Holly, as dance has become more of a career for you, has that taken the fun out of it? Yeah, it has become more of a career um, and because of this I spend a lot more time doing it from a teacher's viewpoint opposed to dancing for myself because I have less free time. So I suppose in that aspect it has taken a little bit of the fun out of it, but I still do love teaching, especially people that are looking to go on into the industry to get jobs and such. I don't think that I've lost my passion for it because I do get so passionate about teaching and sharing the experience of dance with other people and I also get really passionate seeing people succeed and do well. Um, so yeah, I still really, really enjoy it. Private lessons are available upon request. But why have a hobby? As we already said, it gives you a sense of achievement and you learn a lot about yourself as it goes along. That's why I think it doesn't matter if you give up a hobby because you've still learned a lot of stuff and that doesn't really matter because you ain't lost out. Um, but most importantly, if you're starting a new hobby later in life, I think that's great because it still shows that you're looking for growth and trying to improve in all aspects of your life. The first best way is by watching videos on YouTube or other social media platforms. So for this, I would recommend spending a bit of time looking at said hobby by watching videos of people absolutely smashing it. Oh wow! This can be really inspiring and also if you've watched a full 10 minute video of it, you're probably going to like it a lot more. With this new app all the kids have these days called TikTok, uh, it may not be as inspirational for you to watch stuff on there because you're just flipping through onto the next thing, but if you follow creators off of there and YouTube onto their Instagram, it can be really useful to see what they're doing and you may look at their thing and think, I can't ever do that. 
but then when you scroll down and look to see when they were beginner, that can make you think, I could do this. So the next would be to buy cheap or second hand. We bought both of these from Decathlon for £40 each, which is really not that bad. But by buying the best of the best straight away, it could possibly put some pressure on you to do that hobby, um, which could then take some of the enjoyment out of it. But however, once you have done the hobby for a little while and you have got a bit more experience, you can then invest in buying something that is a bit more expensive or a bit better quality. So you can always go second hand, which is what I did with these aggressive skates. Um, and if you are going to buy cheap, I really mean like mid-range, because some cheap stuff uh, you can end up just chucking in the bin, which I've definitely done before, so it's just not worth it. Um, but obviously that depends if it's in your budget. Right, so the next thing to do is make sure you pad up. I wish I did this with rollerblading a bit sooner, but if it's a physical one, do it. I'm sure you've already started a hobby because of lockdown, because it's a brilliant time to do so. So if you have, keep it up and don't let it slip, especially if it's something you enjoy. And also if it's an outdoor hobby, then you'll be ready just in time for summer. So let's conclude. See what there is out there and even try the weird stuff. Absorb yourself in that hobby with social media and documentaries. Buy cheap or second hand to start with and then just immerse yourself in that hobby and do the hobby. And it's as simple as that. So hope you enjoyed the video, that's obviously a different one for us, um, happy hobbying, uh, just a little van update, we are hopefully going to be doing some stuff around Easter, um, we're planning it all but there's been a few things that are getting in the way of us doing it any sooner but stay up to date with those and we'll see you soon.